Finally, you can put my purse on the dining table. You might still have time for breakfast if you hurry. Dining table, here I come. Dad took these photos. Now that David's staying over so much, I wonder how long it'll take Mom to shove them in a drawer somewhere. Chloe, I don't have all day. Would you get over here already? I should see what Mom wants before she strokes out. Wow. Sean Prescott's son, Nathan, goes to my school. Sounds like the apple didn't fall far from the asshole. Why do I suddenly want to get some fireworks? This is Principal Ray Wells. Let me be emphatic. I have an enormous stick inserted into my butt. Thank you. Also, Chloe, you're poor and in trouble. Little dude's like, what the hell just happened? Made that for mom in an art class when I was like five. She was never a smoker, but it's cool. I was never an artist. Wait, those aren't mom's keys. And these would be David's keys. There's probably a better place for them than the ashtray I made mom. Like his home, maybe? From when Max and I spilled Mom's wine. I think the only reason Mom hasn't recarpeted is so she can stay mad at me. It's my job to water these plants, but it was Dad's job to remind me, so nobody's fault, really. Family pick used to hang here. I... Wow. I can't actually remember which one. Aren't you glad you left for Seattle, Max? <sighs> and never looked back? We're already supporting one. Thanks. Any letter from Blackwell is never good. Mom doesn't want me to know, but it's pretty clear her boy toy, David, hasn't worked in like a year. How can bacon smell so good, but I'd still rather stuff these sugar bombs in my mouth? Pot roast? Mom hates pot roast. Joyce Price, AKA Mom. She looks as beat as I feel. It's not that I'm ungrateful. It's just that when your mom works in a diner, you're not always in the mood for diner type food. Hey, Mom. You wanted to talk? When I send you a text message, Chloe, like last night, I need you to answer. You can just say text. You don't have to say message. And I need you to answer without the snark. Sorry. I hear you. I'll do better about replying. Thank you. Is that what you wanted to talk about? What is it with you and David? Always cutting to the chase. Why can't we just have some pleasant conversation before school? Are you selling your engagement ring? Chloe, jewelry gets appraised for all sorts of reasons. Like for insurance. Nice dodge. How about this? You don't go in my bedroom when I'm not there. How about you don't ask me to get your damn purse then? I thought you hated pot roast. You can have a no thank you helping. No, you hate pot roast. I don't care. I don't hate it. 
And David likes it. And don't say you don't care. So that's what we're doing now? Whatever your boyfriend likes? Ah, right. School. My favorite. You used to love to learn. Yeah. I used to think drugs were lame, too. I wish you wouldn't joke like that. You do realize I hate your boyfriend with every fiber of my being, right? Chloe! You don't hate him. He calls me girly. He's a dickhole. He can be old-fashioned. Yeah, an old-fashioned dickhole. Let's not fight. I made you breakfast. Nah, I'll just grab something later. Oh, you'll enjoy this. The other day I made four eggs, two for David, two for me. And just before I served them, he says, what are you gonna eat? I'll enjoy that, huh? Firewalk? Is that the band you mentioned last week? I'm still bummed you wouldn't let me go. Mm-hmm. What? I know what time you came home last night. And don't think you can get out of school just because you missed the bus again. Why would you assume that- Who do you think your principal calls when you skip? Do you think I enjoy lying for you, saying you're sick just so you don't get expelled? Between your grades and your disregard for my rules, I see you slipping. I'm worried. But mom, the whole point of lowering expectations is so you won't be disappointed in me. Ever again. You're happy doing what you're doing? Fine. Keep at it. Just let me know so I can stop fighting with Blackwell to keep you on scholarship. Money's tight enough as it is. Maybe David should start paying rent. He spends the night often enough. How would you know? You're never here yourself. David thinks you need discipline. David should mind his own business. I think it's great David's taking an interest. He's a good man. Maybe he can help. Dad was a good man. That's not fair. I'm glad your father still has a place in your heart. But sometimes we need to make more room in our hearts for new people. And sometimes, when we're incredibly desperate and lonely, we choose the absolute wrong kind of people to let into our hearts. Mom. David's had some hard times too, you know. If he's kind enough to share his experience, I expect you to listen. <laughs> like I'd let him get within 15 feet of me. When he takes you to school today. Very funny. You will be nice, you will be respectful, and you will say thank you. Are you serious? This is such- What, Chloe? Such what? <sighs> Mom's trying, I, I guess. guess. Maybe I should too. But what's the point in getting along if it means pretending everything's fine when it's not? want me to pretend I'm okay with David? That everything's okay? I'm not. He's a chauvinistic piece of shit, frankly, Chloe, and- if your father could hear you. No, you're right. I'm sure dad and the mustache would get along great. It's a big bed. There's room enough for all three of you. That's enough. All I'm asking for is a little respect. Why is that too much? I love you, Chloe. I miss you. Nobody could have replaced your father. I did the best I could. Mom. I don't know where I lost you. You didn't lose me. Right. David's waiting. He'll need the keys. They're in that ashtray you made me. Go be his problem now. Bringing David his keys is about the most humiliating thing Mom could ask me to do. Dad's old swear jar. We spent the last of his curses on bus fare and milk.
no point in putting off the inevitable torture of driving to school with David. They better get going. <laughs> Hard to believe I was an eighth grade science athlete. Did I peak in middle school? I actually have to let this jack off drive me to school. This is my life now. Kill me. piece of crap. The car, too. Why do you women always take forever to get ready? We're hoping you men will leave without us. No, Mom. I swear he beat himself to death with a tire iron. Repeatedly. Electrode insulator's probably cracked. You know what a spark plug does? Yes. It ignites Do you not hear me? I said I know what it does. Then go grab my socket wrench set from the garage, and we can get moving. What is this? Quality time? Ugh. Better just get the socket wrench and get this over with. Where's the socket wrench set again? All I see in the garage is family stuff. You know, not your stuff. Dick around on your own time. It's in the toolbox, in the garage. You won't be late to school on my watch. Tiniest penis in all of Arcadia Bay. What's David doing, leaving stuff in our garage anyway? Does he think he's moving in or something? By toolbox, did David mean this? Or did he mean him? There's his stupid socket wrench set. <sighs> Let's get the shit show over with. 50-50 chance I smash him in the face with this. 60-40. Maybe 90-10. Ten. Should fill this with gasoline just in case David's car ever catches on fire. Damn. The stereo used to be in Dad's workshop. I should hook it up in my room before garbage day gets it first. Dad's old camera. <laughs> Do they even make film for these anymore? Uh-oh. Mom's been cleaning again. This was the photo Mom took down from the living room. Guess we don't have room for it and David's mustache. David's lawnmower. Maybe Mom and I like our lawn the way it is. Ever think of that? Dad's toolbox. He used to get so excited whenever anything sprung a leak or busted. If it's in my garage, it gets my special treatment. What message does David really need to hear?
Got it. Hustle wouldn't have killed you. <sighs> See what's gunking up the works there? That's a sign of carbon, carbon deposits. Deposit. No shit. You know, you could actually be good at this if you lost the attitude. My attitude is what makes me special, David. All right. Fine, whatever. Hey, you're taking those tools with you, right? Every house needs a good toolbox. <sighs> You've already got one, but thanks. <laughs> Ready to roll? Please don't want to talk. Please don't want to talk. I want to talk to you about something. Fuck! We don't have to like each other. But you will respect me. You've enjoyed enough of a vacation from having a father figure. So there's some things I want to be real clear about. Mm-hmm. Joyce! Your mother. She's hurting, Chloe. Hurting for you. You've had it rough. No doubt about it. But all this staying out late, ignoring her command, drinking, drug use. It's making everything harder for her. You need to shape up, get your act together, and put someone else first for a damn change. Am I making myself clear? Is it crazy if part of what David's saying makes sense to me? You don't know how lucky you are to have a mother like Joyce. She's an amazing woman. Coddles you, it's true. But it's only because she loves you. Problem is, you don't learn discipline that way. Give me one chance to show her how things could be and you'll be singing a different tune. Mark my words. <laughs> 